Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Total War Three Kingdoms Records Mode Let's Play as Kong Rong. This should be another intense one as we continue our defenses and offenses to the north and to the south. We are fighting a war on two fronts. We're fighting two separate wars on two separate fronts and uh, feeling okay overall, though uh, having a little bit of concerns about Bohai over here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Bit. Now, last session, we started off by diving into a battle, and some of you commented that you enjoyed that format a bit more, starting with some action and then doing a bit of a recap. So perhaps we do that again today. I'm going to start with the action, not at Bohai, because what I want to do actually is uh, fight a couple of battles over here. I don't think we'll need to fight the battle of uh, Taiyuan. I mean, I might, but I don't think I need to. Um, and then the battle down over here as well, where uh, Ma Dai is going to move in against Zhang He. From uh, Da Tinghui, uh, move in there, make some money off these battles, and then recruit a new um, commander. Preferably one with a full retinue. Preferably one with some cavalry in the retinue, but I wouldn't be averse to some spears either. Chun Yu Bin might be a good pick. I got some spears and stuff. Uh, good for use against the cavalry heavy armies that Gung Sun Zen seems to be favoring. So that's a decision that I'd like to make nice and early. But first, we're going to get, again, some action to kick things off. And then we'll do a quick recap. And as I dive on in and get some upgrades and stuff set up, I just want to mention that if you've been enjoying this series and you would like to see Total War Three Kingdoms continue on the channel, as many of you have said, uh, then please don't hesitate to continue leaving those likes and comments down below. It really does make a big difference. It really helps me just know what I should and shouldn't do on the channel uh, to make sure, you know, I have maximum happiness for viewers, so to speak. Uh, let's go ahead with bravery over here. Immunity to fear and terror, charge negation. It's the only thing that we need right now for this um, retinue. So let's go ahead with the bravery. Okay, let's do that. And uh, I think we're going to kick things off with this battle over here. It should be a pretty intense fight, I think. But uh, I think our cavalry should be able to overpower them as long as I play them safely, as long as I'm careful with them. And I don't throw them into uh, spears and just kill them, as I sometimes am tempted or prone to doing. But uh, we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Again, we're not at full strength, but we have to apply pressure over here, especially because we need the money. So it's uh, it, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. But it's time to make sure that he dies. All right, what's the situation over here? Actually, pretty favorable for me, I think. Again, lots of spears, so I do need to be very careful. But um, there is an opportunity to charge from these trees. Again, everybody here has Vanguard deployment. There is an opportunity to uh, send some of our larger cavalry units through the trees to charge in, get some nice early charges in. Um... And let's, uh, let's layer this. Because what I'll do is the first two will send over to, like, this side. The second two will send over to, like, the middle. And then, who's left? You two. The reason why I'm layering is because I want to make sure that uh, we get clear charges. And they're wider charges. Narrow charges won't do so well for me. Because narrow charges will just punch... Well, they'll be more likely to punch through, but they won't get as much damage. I need to be widespread. You want to try and match the width of the unit you're charging into. And I think that should do the trick over there. And over here, we can just lay out um, up front. All right, here's what we're going to do. The axes on either flank. Swords across the board. Spears. I mean, spears will have to see what, uh, what the AI decides to do with their generals. But at least we can do something like... This for starters. Right, so these spears will try and close down the Raider Cavalry over there. These spears will wait to see what the uh, enemy generals do. I just need to stay on top of that. And then meanwhile, we'll get uh, Tianti and Yu Shu in the trees over here. And they'll push in after the enemies like, retreated and stuff. Okay, feeling pretty good about this. Let's, um... Let's begin, shall we? I wonder if I can push these guys up a little bit. Because again... Every little bit of advantage here will make a big difference. Something like that. All right, folks. 
Here goes. Let's hope for the best. I need to be very wary of the spears. There are lots of them, so I just gotta be careful. But, uh, yeah, let's begin. Individual orders. A huge risk there. March you forward. And you guys up. Alright, in we go. And scare these archers basically right away. Hopefully we get some good charges here. Again, I need to keep my eyes on these guys though. Alright, they're pulling back. In we come. Alright, you know what? I don't have time to uh, to look at this. The charges there. Pull you back. The charges here. Alright, pull you back. Right away, right away, right away. Pull back. Are you through there? Pull you back. Let's go. These guys are already retreating. Excellent. And you guys around this way. Charge and charge and charge. Okay, there we go. This is good. And you have that way. Let's get you down over here. Let's get you down over here. Come on. Down over here. How are we doing? And you up that way. Send you up this way. Get you in here. Actually, let's pull you back. All right, good hits. Pull you back. Get a rear charge over here. Finish these guys off quick. Get a charge over here. Stop these archers. Get you in there. Get you in there. All right, this should be good. Wow, that was a terrible charge. What the hell happened there? Let's pull you back. All right, pull you back again. In we come. That'll be great. Oh, awesome. Pull you back. Then you in. Ooh, is that, that's one of our axe bands. Hmm. Not good. Pull you guys back. Let's go. Get you over here. Pull you back. All right. Destroy you. Pull you back. Still chasing after that. Ooh, that's two champions. I don't like that. Go ahead. Try and free some of these units up. Decent charge there. Another one coming through. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Loving this. Pull you guys back. Pull you back as well. Get you in here. The rear charging up there. Pull you over here. Pull you back. Good, good, good. We're doing over here. More cavalry than I can keep track of. Right, in we come. Oh, these guys are falling apart. Here we go. Face up after that. Okay, let's get these spears up over here. Good hit. Pull you back. Pull you guys back. Spears working away. This is good. Okay, here come the spears. Might lose that G militia. I mean, it is only G militia, but still. Peace after you. Try and make sure these units are as devastated as possible. Go out of here. Come on, let's go. Need to free these spears up. Spears are up in here. Get you out of there, buddy. Come on, let's go. Charge in there. Alright. Pull these guys out. Pull you out as well. How are you feeling? Lord's up in here. Like I said, more cavalry than I know what to do with. <laughs> okay, pull you back. Pull you back. Pull you back. Let's get the spears up in here. Come on. A bit wider over there. All right. Try to prepare some charges here and there. Dive in there. Gotta keep an eye on it, make sure they don't brace. That looks like they're gonna eat that charge. Nice. Nice, these guys are close to giving up. Pull you back. Pull you back. This is falling apart for them. Get the swords on here. This is gonna be my cleanup crew of, uh, of cavalry. There it is. There it is. Alright. I was just saying, that's gonna be my cleanup cavalry crew. Keep you on top of these guys. Get you up there. 
you down over here. You know what? That wasn't too bad. We, we lost a lot more than maybe I would have liked to. We let a lot more go than I would have liked to as well. Yeah, we let a lot more go than I would have liked. But, it wasn't too bad. Get on there, get on there. Keep you on there as well. Alright, alright. The spear guard fall apart. I definitely want to try and eliminate their uh, generals over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know that was uh, that was pretty good. We lost a big chunk of our uh, of our army. Um, the cavalry is mostly okay. Our generals are okay. Nothing. Oh, there was this one axe band unit that took a ton of damage. But apart from that, we're mostly okay. Let's go ahead and speed time up a little bit. Want to make sure we eliminate these generals. Looks like all of them will fall. There we go. Come on, come on. Poke and prod. Cut them down. Oh, are we done up there already? Well then, let's pull you back down over here. Having a bit of a field day. One spear guard. These axe band is chasing one spear guard. Ooh, lots of saber militia there. I don't think we'll be able to reach them in time. Oh, we can try. All right. Yuling is definitely going to go down. All right, here we go. Got a good charge. That was wrong. Got both of these charges in. God, cavalry is so fast. It's terrifying. All right, good stuff. Just got this one last commander. There we go. He's not having a good time at all. Sorry, folks, but this kind of cleanup is necessary, I find. Close victory. I'll take it. It was supposed to be a defeat, so I'll take the close victory. Would have preferred a decisive one, but, you know... I was going to say you can't win them all, but we just we just won this one, so... <laughs> How many did we lose? Like, half our troops or a quarter of our troops? I don't remember our starting number. Oh, yeah, but this guy lost everything. Okay, just less than half. Maybe it... Worse situation than I would have liked, but... Uh... We're going to take the money. As much as I would like the recruitment instead. And now we need to chase you? General is unhappy. Okay, well that's unacceptable. We need to do something by his satisfaction levels. Higher court position. My god, dude. I mean, I could make him an administrator. Well, that'd make him very happy. Matter of where. What does he bring to the table? Right. And, like, where does it apply best? Let's check at, uh... Oh, you know what? Let's check down over here at Yi, Because Yi makes us a lot of money as well. Let's see if he makes sense over here. No, he really doesn't. <laughs> He's such a foolish move, but I also don't want to upset him. He's been a good commander for us. Oh, that's not the right army. Holy crap, though. Look at this army. <laughs> it's too bad I can't reach him this turn. Um, low, running low on supplies as well. We have to get out of this uh, crappy territory. All right. Let's see. Is there anything I can do that would make him a better administrator? No. Not really what he's meant for. That feels like a wasted slot, so I, maybe I'll just give him a promotion. Sorry about that little cut there. Well, that's the construction sounds outside. I wanted to cut out. Um, but yeah, so maybe we promote uh, Ma Dai to make sure he stays satisfied. We're going to hold off on that, though. Right now, that money has a far more important use. Um, and I'm also wondering... Holy crap! Did I miss that earlier? Oh. I might need to pull back. Rather than push forward. Uh, I, I'm actually tempted to push in towards uh, and ping so we can get replenishment going on over here. Let's do that before I forget, I think. Nudge on in. We should be able to... Come on. I can, I can see I can get in here. Um, so if I get in here... There we go. We get the replenishment. 
this army might come towards me we'll have to retreat they'll have these guys as reinforcements unfortunately i can't close them down so they're gonna be able to pull back into safety probably interesting interesting situation might need to pull uh my diet back but at least we're in uh, safer territory now the terrain is still bad here but at least we're in, in home home turf right uh but yeah we'll we'll deal with this later and in terms of an upgrade because you can still get an upgrade let's go with mobility the extra speed is not a bad idea for cavalry um cavalry retinue yeah i think i'm gonna go with that or melee armor piercing damage across the board for the whole army is also not bad but no let's go with the speed uh, that adds morale when attacking as well, so that's good. And then over here, Deng Jiang, I don't think we'll need to fight this one. Yeah, I don't think we'll need to fight this one. I could, though. Like, what's the battlefield look like? I mean, it'd just be trebuchets on four units. Let's just delegate this one. Decisive victory, low predicted casualties. Oh, we don't have night battles, right. Gotta be careful. Can't believe we lost our strategist. Okay, let's go ahead and delegate this. Like, wait a second, what's going on there? So just gotta be careful for a little bit until uh, Buddy levels up. Lost 96, that's not too bad. Didn't gain too much money. Could loot and occupy, that would give us a lot of wealth. Yeah, you know, let's do that, loot and occupy. I need money now. <laughs> a treasure. A runner arrives from the new settlement with a heavy box strapped to his crooked back. Panting heavily, the breathless man slams his bulky consignment down at your feet before collapsing. It is a loot chest, with its lock broken open, filled to the brim with jewels and precious trinkets of considerable value. Very nice, extra money for our treasury, right as we uh, needed it to. Now, now is when we need the most money, and looks like we are getting quite a bit of it, so that's good and helpful. Good and helpful. We're going to sit tight over here and replenish. Don't have to do too much of that. I mean, I could... No, can't rush forth. Fine. I was like, wait a second, I don't remember this. But I do. I do. Okay. Ow. I need you to level up. And you to level up quick. That was, oh my god is not good. I almost want to swap you out. I almost want to swap you out. I don't know, dude. Oh, this worries me a little bit. The fact that this army can't do night battles. We'll be fine. It's just... Every little bit helps, right? When it comes to these kinds of things, every little bit helps. But we'll be we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Um, we'll be fine. Okay, now let's deal with this. We're going to recruit. Yu Tiang? No, I think Tun Yu Bin's the way to go. He's got uh, some spear guards. He's got uh, some swords. A touch of cavalry. Not really all that much. Like a really. Cavalry is such a solid thing to take. It's such a big difference. It's made such a big difference every time we fought. But this is a full retinue. And our generals can act as cavalry, after all. Mm. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with. Bad Sinren's going to get passed over again. She's on assignment. Uh, but Chen Yubin. He's satisfied. He doesn't love everybody, but he'll get along just fine. It's a lot of our money, but confirm that. Okay, and then we can actually sally forth over here. Predicted casualties high. Decisive victory. Look, I mean, I could fight this and, and hope that I can uh, do better. I probably can do better than the AI will. Just have to be very careful with some of these units. Sure, you know what? I think we're going to take this to the battlefield. I can't I can't suffer high casualties. I need to pull back and save the... I think the fishing port is where Gungsun Zen himself is going to go. So let's go ahead and start this battle. Got to hold. And, uh, and see what we can do, I suppose. 
Yeah, let's do it. Alright, so we're gonna obviously pull these guys back to join the reinforcements. Who are all the way back here. Oh my god, that's a long way to go. Well, let's begin. If anything, at least it'll buy me time. March you back. The reinforcements arrive. Excellent. Beautiful, beautiful day. Actually, quite a gorgeous day. Who would think that many are to die today on this very, very land? Alright. Get ready. No flaming shots or anything yet. Very, very, very young army, this one. Alright, reinforcements are all arriving. Want to make sure I line up properly. Okay, get you guys formed up like so. You over here. You over here. Get our archers set up. Over here. And get the trebuchet set up over here. Okay, and then our cavalry, as it were. Set up over there. Get you up over here. Alright. Hurry it up. Go. Oh, gotta form up quick. Gotta make sure I'm getting shots in as soon as possible. These guys look like they've slowed down. Oh no, they're still coming towards me. They're just that far away. They are marching though. Be arriving over here almost. Getting the trebuchet into position is going to be painful. And we could rotate like so. Over there close like soon enough. We have some room to fire over here. Yeah, yeah, we have a we have a clearing. The other thing that concerns me is the lack of uh, like flaming shots and whatnot. We'll be fine. Pull you up this way instead. Right there. Right there. See them. I can smell them. <laughs> Ready for them. I'm gonna come a little bit further ahead. Nervous about this battle. We have to do well. Otherwise, the, the following battles will be in a very horrible situation. Let's go ahead and speed time up a little bit. I have to watch the slow march. Okay, we're almost in position. There we go. And we'll be able to hit play any second now. Any second now. Okay, and... There we go. I'll make sure I'm targeting the right things. Let's go ahead and hit these guys. A couple straight shots should do a fair bit of damage as well. Get you firing. Okay, you can't be that straight with your shots. <laughs> Come on. Better straight shots. Oh my god. So inaccurate. We got one of you firing over here. Nice! Alright, got a couple hits there. Good, good, good. God's coming through. And low ranking artillery is really just not that great. Okay, this is okay though. It's okay, we've got our archers as well. Chilling back there right now. We'll be able to cause a fair bit of damage. How few kills we've got. Come on, kick, keep firing. Literally getting handfuls of kills. Fire up there. You guys, turtle up. Both firing up over here. Hoping to cause a little bit of damage. 
These guys must be like, they must be feeling like the luckiest individuals of all time. Come on, none of this is hitting. Finally. It'll speed time up a little bit more. We're gonna run out of ammunition having done minimal damage. Alright, almost time to start firing. And let's open. Ooh, that was a good hit. And fire over here. Flaming shots. Regular shots. Go. Come on. Good damage over there. Okay, this guy's not having a good time. Run on fire over there. Time for us to move. Let's go. Here, let's go. Ready? Roll these guys. Roll them, let's go. Fire back over here. We're out of ammunition. Doing them terribly. Not good. Okay, the archers are being taken care of. Quickly, I think. Yep. You over here. Jump over here. And we'll go for some rear charges. Looks like we've killed a general. We hit over there. We're holding the line somewhat. Jump over there. Sung Jian has fallen. Not good. Are you back? I mean, not surprised, right? This is our this is our honorable men who fight for uh, the survival of the north. Now it was uh, someone in the comments actually suggested that we abandon the north, uh, let it uh, let it fall, so we can focus to the south. I don't know how I feel about that, guys. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. This is our land, and the more uh, opportunities we give Gongsun Zan to to hold on to it, the worse we'll be in the long run. Put the swords in, then you threw. Pull you back. Pull you back. Get you in here with the rear charge on Da Mu. Come on, give up on the fight. It's crazy how much um, <laughs> the inaccuracy of my of my um, trebuchet actually cost me, so to speak. How we feel? There we go. These guys are giving up. You're about to give up too. Charge in over here. This has got to be complete destruction for this army, right? Right. I imagine so. Two left over here. I can't believe we lost the general, though. A little unfortunate. I was I was reckless with them. Come on, finish him off. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, I, mean, I guess that's the direction I have to go in anyway, so. Send you down this way. Actually, send you up that way. You're going down this way? Watch, it's actually him. Uh, Actually, you know, it's not. It doesn't look like him, at least. So let's go ahead and turn you around. Send you up that way. Ah, you know, this, this army's broken, I think. I don't think we should do this cleanup. Decisive victory didn't feel like it. Felt like I lost a lot more than I needed to. Including a beloved general. It's okay, we'll swap him out. <laughs> this is, uh, this northern war is definitely a brutal, like, attempt at survival. You know, we, like, we didn't lose that many. Made a lot of money, too, which is good and helpful. We gained an ancillary. Gained two ancillaries. Um, but yes, we have unfortunately lost one of our commanders. Okay, um, I, I wonder if we go with the uh, ransom here. Get the money to recruit another general. Do it. Unfortunately, that army managed to survive, and yep, it is time to swap out. I wish I could... 
to like keep keep it open keep it up song jian i want to see his name and i want to honor him <laughs> uh who do we replace you with that's a nice retinue i wouldn't mind actually having that retinue hmm We don't keep the old retinue. Let's see, we've got spears, kind of. And I like the old retinue. Yu Chong could be given this position. Nah, it's a lot of G. Militia. Liang Xian isn't bad. But I think the, the old retinue is definitely the way to go. Okay, keep old retinue. And we'll give... Uh, We'll give it to Liang Qian, I think. Or, you know, let's give it to Gong Fan, because at least then he's ending up with a larger retinue. Gong Fan. Sign you here. He was only 21, Gong Jian. Only 21. This general has died carrying out their duty. There are a few deaths as noble, and the loved ones left to mourn take solace and feel pride in knowing their passing was in the service of a greater good. Indeed it was. Drop your Fs in the comments. Drop your Fs in the comments. All right, let's go ahead and uh, maybe swap these guys out a little bit. Wait, hold on. First, and get you into Bohai, because that's almost certainly where Gong Sen Zen is going. So we're going to get you into Bohai's fishing port. Really too bad about that army surviving. But it's a husk of an army. Uh, let's go ahead and give you Gong Fen... Naval Sphere. Now let's give you... What? I, I, I guess we go with a Scholarship. What am I trying to get to sooner, basically? Sure, let's go with uh, Scholarship so we can get to Diligence next. Okay, apply that. Over here, um, you have two points available. Holy crap. Look, I haven't forgotten to upgrade some of my generals. Better resolve enables encourage. Actually, we just got Chin Yubin. Uh, unlocks assignment. Isn't bad. No, let's go with, I think, consideration. Enable encourage. And then... Vengeance is maybe not bad. Or we could go with reach... It's not really going to help us that much. Okay, let's go with uh, let's go with consideration first, just to get that encourage, and then vengeance for more melee damage output. I suppose enable scare. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Cool. Very cool. Let's go ahead and get you this upgrade over here, and let's get you some fancier equipment overall. Okay, uh, more resolve, excellent. Anything over here? More authority, more satisfaction, more morale. Ooh, that works for Ma Dai really well, actually. Yep. Yeah. A bit happier. Still think I need to give him a promotion, which, I, which I'll do, I'll do, I'll do. Right now though, um, let's go ahead and swap these guys out. Make you spear guard and make you Spear guard as well. All right. That way they'll actually have that replenishment bump. That's why I didn't want to do it out over here. And then do I make this army a little bit bigger as well? I could recruit some more. Jan sword guard in here. Sure, yeah. You know, this is like going to be a full stack. Gongsen Zen's going to move in here. Ohai has uh, got a garrison. Hopefully we can do something. Let's go ahead and repair this as well. Start making that money that we've lost out on. And the promotion, I think, is just out of reach, financially speaking. Yeah. Wow, quite a bit, actually. 1,600. We'll have to wait until next turn, at the very least. Okay. Feeling okay about that, though. That's the entire northern section. Now, 
to address some of the comments as we uh, as we progress. Wow, that was the longest intro of all time. Uh, there was actually a request. It'd be really nice to see that uh, if Jiang Jiang was able to kill Jiang Yan, and that is absolutely what I was thinking as well. It would be extremely poetic. I would love to have that um, uh, sort of get pulled off. I would love to uh, create that poetic justice, as one of you put it. Um, however, if the opportunity presents itself, we can do it. I'm not going to run away from Jiang Yan just to give Deng Jiang a chance to do it. Uh, so hopefully she comes across her old nemesis before anybody else does. Um, because, yeah, that would be that would be quite nice. Uh, apart from that, I already addressed the whole giving up the North. We're not going to give up the North. We're going to stay here and fight. Uh, we have a decent, well, at least one decent army over here. Ma Dai is in a bit of trouble. But he can at least, you know, move towards a livestock farm or something. We can, I think we can cause a dent up there. While down over here, Lu Su needs to, again, pull down towards the trade port at Tangsha. Uh, Tsai Mao has left that alone, so I can do that. And Kong Rong. I'm wondering, do we sit tight or do we push? Maybe we give one more turn of sitting tight. Just let these guys come back and then we move up to this area. And then we sit tight over there, and then we move in. Yeah, well, just a little bit of patience right now, I think, would go a long way. We have, what is this, gained a trait. Song Jian is scarred. Isn't Song Jian also dead? Ancillary is gained. All right. Yes, Song Jian is dead. Okay, good stuff. Overall, pretty satisfied with that. Let's go ahead and rush you down south, because, again, we are losing a lot of money by not having the uh, trade port of Changsha. Really is quite... A bummer. We lost that. And we'll see what Tsai Mao does as well. Kong Rong staying put. Up north, we'll have to see what the AI does and how they move and if we're able to repel. I imagine Gong Sun Zen is going to hit uh, the fishing port here. And he's bringing Zhao Yun with him. And Zhu Xiao. Let's not exclude Zhu Xiao. <laughs> uh, this will be an intense battle. And again, this army might fall. The city might fall. But hopefully we can hold them off. Hopefully we can hold them off. I do believe that's a turn, folks. We have to just pick a reform. Now, many of you were uh, lamenting, as I am too, the fact that we do not have some of these options that give us uh, reduced mustering turns. Would have been very helpful right now, but that is now, what, six turns away because I got to pick, let's say, garrison conscripts, and then I can get convict drafts, or I have to pick military markets, and then I can get... Um... Wait, nope. Where's the other one? Oh, this one's further away. Yeah, my point being, that's quite far. And I was the other thing I was tempted to get was shaft mining so that we can actually reduce corruption. We can upgrade our mines to reduce corruption. Oh, man, it's tough. And then there's also this situation down here where I can get more food coming in as well. Our food production is pretty good. Actually, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about that. What if I reduce my taxes? Food production is still okay. All right, you know what? Come on, pop you back up. Well, let me check something. Who is untaxed? Yang Ling is untaxed. Okay, that's uh, really not enough money. More than enough food, though. So food is not a problem. Is what I'm seeing here. Once we get Tangsha back... Yeah, food is really not a problem. And once we get Tangsha's uh, trade port back, we'll be okay. I have one more assignment available as well. Surplus mark income from commerce bump. That'll be helpful. Send someone out to do that right now. Where are our commerce hubs? Gong, you're making the most money. 390 out of commerce. Aishan, 1.7k out of commerce. So right now, Taishan is the obvious pick. Ooh, this is all industry. All right. Taishan it is. Go ahead and send uh, Liang Xian on the surplus markets. Give us income from industry as well, but we don't have any over here. That's fine. All right, surplus markets. Hopefully that'll be all the help we need for now. Uh, but obviously tax rate's going to stay up a notch for the time being. Yeah, we'll be okay. Beihai has this upgrade available. More income from peasantry. Public order really drops, though. Nah, we're going to stay away from that. <laughs> we're going to stay away from that. Okay, so with all that said and done, maybe we do move towards the military, the mustering options over here. 
that's definitely something you should pick earlier rather than later. I'm definitely regretting not having taken that sooner, but this wasn't supposed to be a military campaign. It became one. So we could go with Garrison Conscripts and five whole turns later, we can reduce mustering turns. Really doesn't feel like a good call right now, if I'm completely honest. Just because it's so we're so far along. I would always, almost much rather get you know, shaft mining. Or even horse magnates for the trade influence or building upkeep production. Something that helps us immediately. Um... But no, I think, uh, ooh, 2% replenishment. I feel like this is more what I need right now. You know what? This will help us more immediately. So let's do this first and then this and this. Oh, God. 2% replenishment. That's really what it's come to. <laughs> Desperation. I mean, hey, it'll help a little bit. Help a touch. Hopefully we can hold that city. Hopefully we can hold that fishing port. Let's end the turn. Let's see what the AI does. Undoubtedly, they're going to attack us, but yeah, okay. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I wish I'd eliminated this army. Now, it's a close defeat is what's being predicted here. I think we can hold the line. I think we can hold them back. Well, God knows we're going to try. All right. This is going to be... This is going to be intense. They're coming in from just uh, these two directions. And then reinforcements are coming in from there. Okay. Uh, we don't have that many towers or anything, unfortunately. <laughs> like from that city. Okay. We have, we have numbers. Just very whittled down. So. Archers. Cavalry. Lots of cavalry. Oh, no, you know what? They're coming in from 1, 2, and 3. Okay. All right. Let's get you set up over here. You set up over here. Um, you set up over here. Hold on. It's going to be bad. The three of you over here in turtle formation. You back over here. Two of you over here in turtle formation. Then we've got our swords. These folks over there. Um, more swords over here. Swords and axes, okay, okay. These guys will try and hold. It's gonna be a dog pile, basically. Alright, there we go. These guys back where keep you kind of in a central position over there I suppose uh, our trebuchet inaccurate as they are might get some work done but we put them right in the middle and hopefully we can get some work done with them why are they the icons like that it's really annoying okay a little bit of fire away right from the start and then fire up there as well these guys are nice and clumped up so that'll be good um, lots of archers Lots of archers, so that's good. You guys grouped up. Line up over here, perhaps. As the enemy comes close, we'll fire up there. And then uh, turn around and fire back over here. I could position these guys over here instead. We'll fire away from over here. We'll fire away from over here. Our towers will hopefully get some work done as well. Uh, oh. Left a couple of you guys behind. Alright, there we go. Okay, set up like so. We'll be good. Hopefully we can eliminate this very quickly. Other option is you guys position up over here and you guys position over here. I'm trying to decimate that nonsense as fast as possible. Well, hopefully not decimate. Hopefully obliterate. 
those of you who want to be technical rather than, uh, <laughs> um, what's the word I'm looking for? Implicit. All right, let's go. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm going to fire away. The towers are going to fire away our cavalry. What little there is of it. Oh, God. That's barely a cavalry unit. Uh, they're going to come around the back and hopefully get some nice rear charges. They have a lot of cavalry of their own, which is scary. They have a ton of cavalry, which is scary. But we'll see what we can do. Hopefully we'll gun it down. All right, let's begin. Let's, uh, let's begin. Start firing right away. Come on, come on, come on. Reinforcements have arrived. Fire away. Fire away. Oh, we're actually going up that way. Okay, interesting. Here we are firing. Rebuchets are firing as well. Getting some hits in. Okay, okay. Uh, of course, they have fiery arrows. All right, time to move forward. Just not able to fire yet. Moving into position. Are you able to fire? You are. Let's go. Let's not get two adventures here. Fire up that way. And you out and about. Firing away where we can. Try and take care of their cavalry back there. Keep firing up there. Towers are going down. This cavalry's not having a good time. Excellent. Push, push, push. Turn around and fire over this way. Literally just fire anywhere, dude. Fire up here. Okay, in we go. Fire up there. Charge will hopefully get some work done. I need to pull you guys back little bit. Pushing for the charge over here. Maybe we can break these guys right now. Alright, there. Alright, and we go with the rear charge. Come on, give me some good damage here. Okay, decent, decent. Pull you back. Pull you up that way. Way. That was good. That wasn't bad at all. Guys, give him chase. Turn you around, pull you back, and you in there. Okay, decent enough. We're holding the line up there as well. Our men are running. Our men cannot run. Our men have to hold. Pull you back. Pull you back. I'll send you up that way. Let's go. Well, let's pull you back. Fire over here. Dive in there. Let's pull you back. Let's go. Get those archers. Excellent. Get in there. Get in there. Trying to run out of ammunition now. Pull you in. All right, excellent. Let's go up this way. Like to get some rear charges in there. Are you down here? Are you out of there? Let's go. Get a rear charge in here, actually. We're right here. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Turn our artillery around to fire up that way instead. Oof, I think we lost our cavalry. All right, and we go with the rear charge over here. Pull you back. Nice rear charge over here. Try and break these guys. Gotta be a good bit of damage. Okay, pull you up this way. 
for you around. Let's try and fire up over there. Island. Go out of there. Unit has perished. Oh god. Guess I'm not surprised though. Come on. Fire. At a safe distance. There we go. Hong Sun Zen. How dare you do this? We're friends. Not a good charge. I'm gonna die. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Your charge. Starting around ammunition. Oh, they were starting around ammunition as well. Trying to hold the line over here. And you over. You need to get out there as well. Go. Oh. Managed to get back in here. Back here. In we go. Destroy that unit. Need to get out of here, man. Charge in there. Holding the line here, just barely. Be down this way. And you over. You guys down here, there's some cavalry here. Keep doing that charge. Not that well. Pull you back. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Running out of ammunition now. This is not good. Be back a little bit. Going. Let's get you in here. Turn you around. Get you in here. Go. Good rear charge, maybe. That's terrible. Pull away, pull away, pull away. Get out of there. Both of these guys out of there. Come on. Enemies running. Excellent. Rear charge coming in over here. Excellent, excellent. Oh, crap. Let these guys get behind me. These guys have clumped up the cavalry's at the back, which is unfortunate. Turn around and fire. Maybe some flaming shots will do the trick. Push back over here. In we go. Not good. The way their uh, cavalry has clumped up is not letting me come out on top. Let's go. The men are running up there. That's not good. It's like just a battle of straight-up attrition over here. Maybe I can get an angle in here. Maybe I can get into this G militia over here. How are you feeling? Come on. Okay, yeah, got a little... Oh, yes, 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 that was good, that was good. Let's pull you back right away. A little bit of fire. Oh, yes! Oh, I've thrown them back. I think I've got this, folks. He's unbreakable, it seems, but... Dong Sun Zen, you do not leave so easily. Okay. Zhu Xiao is unbreakable. Outside, please. Our success looms large. Indeed, it does. Thompson Zen's trying to get away. Traitor. Foul traitor. Wow.
Look at him. Victory is mine, Gongsun Zen. Victory is mine. We're giving chase, though. Oops. Wrong unit. I what one thing I one of the changes I don't like is how the um controls have changed. Oh my god, going so slowly. These guys are eager though. Look at that. Gunson's down, riding away on his white cavalry. Don't give up. Don't give up. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make it. I don't think we're gonna make it, but dear lord. That was, uh, that was intense. That was intense. I think we should call it, maybe. Turn you around to chase after some of these units that we might actually damage. Anything goes over here. Well, it's cavalry. He made it out. Oh dear, alright. Definitely glad I pulled back. Definitely glad I, uh did what I did. They really did manage to sneak in behind me, didn't they? Didn't capture the point, though. I think my G militia chasing them maybe turned them around a little bit. Dear lord, what a battle. Heroic victory indeed. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. We maintain our foothold in the north. We still have replenishment coming through. We still have... Oh my god, this army has been beat up real bad. I think I might need to take the replenishment from here. Wow. That was bad. <laughs> we'll take the replenishment for sure. Or I could take the income and swap these units out. A great deal of replenishment, though. Ooh, this is a tough call, actually. I'm not 100% sure which way I want to go. Because if I get the money, and with the money, I'm able to uh, replace these units. I get the replenishment, I have to wait two turns. That's not enough money to recruit a replacement for everything. Hmm. You know what? Let's uh let's go with replenishment, I think. Well we'll make our money another way. Right now we've beaten them back though quite well. Look at that. Those armies are a husk of what they were before. A husk. Yan, where are you? Oh. Decisive defeat. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we're going to fall back from this, I think. Yeah, they've got reinforcements coming through. I mean, do we have to fall back, actually? The game says decisive defeat, but I'm feeling pretty comfy, actually, overall. It'll be a little scary. I might fall back. I might fight this one. I don't know. I don't know which way I'm going to go. But what I do know, folks, is this is where we're going to call it a session. Ended on a cliffhanger, why not? We've got less than half of the enemy troops, apparently. Jeez, this would be a tough battle to fight. Maybe we'll fall back. Either way, let me know how you feel about this episode. As always, folks, I hope you had a good time. If you did, you know what to do. Drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know you would like to see more, if that's the case, of course. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.